Hey everybody, welcome to the Coyote Country Lodge. I'm David Herring, host of the TV show Coyote Country. On this episode, we're gonna talk about the use of camo. So what I'm talking about is we're trying to uh, defeat the coyote's vision and what they're looking for when they come running into the call. We do that by covering ourselves in camo, and I'm talking head to toe. Um, not everybody believes this. I am a firm believer. I've had firsthand experience with this, and I'm a firm believer that you should cover everything you can in camo. So we're talking a full face mask just to where your eyes are exposed. Um, you're going to want to wear a jacket or shirt, you know, long sleeve shirt. You're going to want to wear gloves, pants. I even go as far as I wear camo boots. That way, if I'm out in a more wide open setting, um, maybe sitting on a hill or something like that, if I've got black boots on, that's going to show up. Now coyotes, they don't see in color like we do, but they do see in black and white and they use the contrast. Um, like black is very contrasty, white is very light colored. Um, they use the difference in contrast to be able to pick out and identify what's going on. So what you wanna do by wearing camo is you're trying to blend into that environment, uh, make yourself as invisible as you can, break up your body silhouette and distinctive features to where you're going to look more like the bush that hopefully you're sitting in front of um, and not a person. They definitely, most coyotes uh, have seen people in the past. They definitely know our shape and our silhouette and they know that that is not good news for them. They avoid us at all costs. And so if they come in and they see you, chances are they're going to stop, they're going to turn around and they're going to book it straight out of there. So what you want to do, like I said, you want to cover yourself in head to toe camo. Um, do what you can to blend in. Skin really, and I'm not kidding, really lights up when you're out there. Um, it is a very unnatural uh, shade for them to see. So if it's your face or your hands, especially when we're out hunting coyotes, a lot of times your hands are in front of you, they're on the rifle or what have you, and that is what they see. So you wanna cover everything you can. That way you're gonna maximize your chances when that coyote starts coming in and starts getting close that they're not gonna pick you out. Um, definitely, uh, one last thing on this, make sure, um, and I make sure we have everything um, as far as the camo pattern is all matching. Um, I don't like mixing matching my camo a bunch. I would rather be one big blob of uh, sticks and figures and that kind of thing and not have a dark shade on the bottom, a light shade on top. Um, we're out on the west coast, we use a uh, real tree pattern which works great for our environment. And when you're out picking camo, that's what you want to do. You want a camo pattern that's going to match the environment you're hunting in. So if you guys are out on the east coast and it's real green and foresty, you're going to want to go with maybe a mossy oak pattern that's going to match that better. Um, like I said, you want to blend into this environment as best as you can. That way the coyote's not going to pick you out as it gets really close. So guys, if you like what you see on these videos, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all at Coyote Country TV. That's the handle for them. Or if you want more information on our show or uh, even watch past episodes, our website, you can do it straight from there. It is coyotecountry.tv. So guys, remember, it's always better being out in the field than it is sitting at home on the couch. <laughs>